What's going on guys, it's Pommy Gamer here and we are back today with another squad build it. This is an actual full squad builder now instead of just a free main players squad. And this team actually is kind of like an overpowered weekend league team. You can use it for the weekend, this weekend requirements. It fits the criteria for that so you can use it in there. But this team anyway just feels awesome. So in goal, we do have one and only Diego Alves. Only because, you know, he's the only one who fits in there. You know, good, he's got good diving, good reflexes, not so much on the handling, kicking or positioning, but I only really care about the handling and positioning the most. But if you chuck a glove on him, he gets around about in the 80s handling and in the 80s positioning, so most of the time he's fine. And then, oh no, that's my bench, sorry about that. And then we've got right, right there, we've got Mariano, he's got 84 pace, 75 dribbling, 73 defending, 74 physical, 74 passing. He's a solid, a solid, uh, well-rounded right back. In medium, medium, five foot ten, so he's not going to be moving from that right back position. He does run up if you want him to run up for you, but you know, m most of the time he doesn't. He just sits back for you and just chills, and he's a great defender. And we're moving on now to right centre back. I did have Miranda here, but uh, I swapped him out because of the market crash, and I didn't want to lose too much money on him. Uh, but we do have Marqui Marquinhos, Marquinhos, uh, however you say his name, I'm not too sure. Yeah, he's got, he's got, I mean, he's not too bad. He's six foot, medium, medium, three star, weak foot. He's got 73 pace, 84 defending, 76 physical. You know, he'll, he'll just be like your pacey centre back. He'll just be like the one, like, helping back. Like, if there's someone running through, you can obviously catch up to him. And then obviously, you've got around the 80s uh, pace because of the anchor chemistry style, which is really well. I always have, like, anchor chemistry styles on all my defenders because it's so useful. Except from the next centre back, which is freaking wrong one again. Which is Jardel, who's got 63 pace, 84 defending, 82 physical. He's six foot four, medium high. Now he's like your stay back centre back who normally wins headers in the air in the box against tall players like that. And he's just really strong and can knock anyone off the ball. I prefer Jardel is one pretty good solid centre back that I've used the, this year. It doesn't really as long as you got pace around the 60s and use an anchor or shadow chemistry style, you're usually fine. But yeah, there's Jardel and he's a solid ass centre back. And then on the left back position we do have Wendell, he's got 86 pace, 78 dribbling, 73 defending, 72 physical, 72 passing. Again he's 5 foot 9, uh, not the tallest left back but you know he's not going to be in there for getting headers. He's just going to be like trying to run back and tackle the defender and then like run up the pitch for you a bit and help out. Yeah, where he's a well rounded pretty solid left back. And we move on now to the CDM position and we do have Luis Gustavo. Sorry right, guys, I've got like a bit of a cold and a blocked nose and it's kind of annoying me. Uh, but yeah, we've got Luis Gustavo, 6 foot 2, medium high, left footed, 3 star weak foot, 2 star skill, 67 pace, 71 dribbling, 83 defending, 82 physical, 70 passing. I did use his Movember card and even only boosts his physical stats, he just felt awesome, his Movember card. And for like 10k, he is pretty freaking awesome. So if you do have enough money, I'd get uh, his Movember card and just uh, chuck a shadow on him. So he has like 90 defending, 87 physical, and like 70 to 80 pace. Like he, then he's just incredible, and no one can knock him off the ball. But yeah, moving on now to right centre mid is Fernandinho. Again, look at those stats: well-rounded, 77 pace, 78 dribbling, 75 shooting, 76 defending, 76 passing, 78 physical, nearly in club 80. He's five foot nine, medium high, four star weak foot, three star skill moves. What more do you want for a freaking selling midfielder like that? Seriously. And then the left centre. Mid, we got Rafina, you know, well rounded again, full star, four star, medium, medium, left footed, 75 pace, 85 drilling, 72 shooting, 77 passing, 62 defending, 63 physical, which again, it's well rounded. Most everything's nearly in the 70s besides defending and physical. But even if you chucked an anchor card on him if you wanted to, then you'd get up in the 70s for that. But yeah, he's a pretty good tribute to the team and he's a pretty well rounded player. And then next up, we've got Giuliano at camp. I was going to go for his end form or his one to watch and if you do have his one to watch or end form just chuck him in there. But obviously I made this cheap just for the reason because of the market crash and I wanted something solid what works for this weekend league team. You know 81 pace, 83 drilling, 76 shooting, 76 passing, 69 physical, 3 star weak foot, 5 star skill move so you got your main skill in your team. I really like this guard, he feels really good on the ball and I would have liked to try out his uh, end form or one to watch card. And then moving on now at right striker, we do have... Pato, 5'11", high-low, 3-star weak foot, 4-star skill, he's got 86 pace, 80 drilling, 78 
Shooting, 68 physical, 68 passing. This guy is your pacey striker. It's like, he'll just be running up and down for you, and then he'll be sweating it over to your main man, Jonas. So if you have the squad builder one, I recommend highly you put him in there. But I love Jonas. I've loved Jonas for the past three FIFAs as well. And I've hated the last three FIFAs. I don't know, like... FIFA to me has just gone downhill a little bit and I don't know. But yeah, Jonas here, you've got his 5'11", high medium, 5 star weak foot, which I absolutely love about him because you can shoot with any foot possible. 3 star skill moves, which is meh, but you know, you only really need the roulette and step overs on this game if they work anyway. And he's got sense 2 pace, 84 dribbling, 85 shooting, 78 passing, 65 physical. And if you chuck a catalyst on him, which I've done to boost his passing and pace, he goes up around 80 odd pace and like 89 passing. And I chucked a passing on him because the passing catalyst, like it boosts up like curve and like free kicks and stuff like that. And that's what I wanted instead of finishing because I already got good finishing. So I just boosted up his curve and free kicks and now he's just a really awesome player. And yeah guys, that is the team right there. It's a pretty solid cheap team if you want to go in it for this weekend league. It's just a full Brazilian team. It's got the uh, right requirements. And yeah, I'm just going to leave you with the goals now, and I'll speak to you guys in the next video. Hey yeah, guys, I've just come back and recorded this part because I forgot about it, but if you want to know my player instructions, then I'll show you here right now. Uh, right back is obviously stay back all attacking, left back same, stay back all attacking. CDM, I have cut passing lanes and stay back all attacking because I prefer that over than man marking. I just prefer cut passing lanes. And then the left centre and right centre are both the same. I haven't met all of them. They're just on whatever they were on normally. My camo got to stay forward and free row. And then my two strikers are both on getting behind and press back line. But if you have a slower striker, get put the press back line on, but probably leave the attacking run on balanced or false nine if he's got like 70 pace. And yeah, that's that. And then my custom tactics are here as well. It, got my speed on 90, passing on 50. Passing 70, crossing 60, shooting 40, pressure 40, aggression 60, team whip 40 as well. I've also got position on free form and defending the line on cover. And I know that the team's different, this is my BPL team, uh, but they're both the same. Like, they're both, because they're both 4-1-2-1-2, they're both the same player instructions and they're both the same custom tactics.